Hello again, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a new tool that can be useful for you. This tool can be used to process engineering stress strain data to obtain true stress strain data and generate the required input for the plastic nonlinear parameters in Abacus for metallic materials in general and uh, steel in particular. If you go to this link here at the top, this is the link for the repository where you will find the tool. Under this link, you will find this folder called Steel Generator. You just need to click into this folder. Inside, you will find the installer, the executable for to install the software. You just need to download that. Once I download the installer, I just need to install it as you typically do with any uh, software. You are going to get this interface here for the process and it tells you what the tool can do. You click next, you just use the default destination folder, and I will add also a shortcut to the desktop. Then you click next. Of course, the tool requires that you have MATLAB runtime 2022. If you don't have this runtime installed already on your PC, then you need to be connected to the internet for the installer to download this before installing the tool. Here I already have it, so the installation doesn't take long time, just one second and it's done. Now if I go to my desktop, now I will see the icon for the tool, which is called here Abacus Steel Generator. If I double click uh, on that, this will open the tool. Of course, make sure that when you run this tool, it's recommended that you run it as an administrator, because if the tool is located into a restricted folder and the tool will need to write some files so if you do not run it as administrator you might get some errors so i will go ahead here and double click on the icon it might take a couple of seconds to open up so now the tool opened up and this is the main user interface first thing that you need to look for here is the input so there are two types of input that you can use you can input test data. This is pretty much if you have coupon test data, like from a uniaxial tensile test. So if you have the stress strain, the engineering stress strain data, you can browse for these data and import it into the tool and the tool will post process the data for you. If you don't have this test data, then you can use the manual option here from the drop down menu, and this will let you specify the values for all these uh, parameters the modulus of elasticity, the yield stress, ultimate stress, and so on. And based on these parameters, the tool is going to generate the material true stress strain and the plastic stress strain that needed into Abacus. So let's start first with the test data. So if you have this test data, you just need to browse for it. Right now I have this uh, folder called data on my desktop. This folder includes two uh, sample stress strain data. These are also downloadable on GitHub next to the installer file. So here you have sample coupon data for a carbon steel specimen and another one for a stainless steel specimen. Uh, if I open the carbon steel specimen, so again, you see two columns of data separated by a space or a tab and the first column includes the engineering strain values while the second column include the engineering stress values as you typically get from these kind of tests notice here that this data does not to be processed so you can put this data as you have it row so this is why like you see here for example my stress does not start at zero, it starts at a given value, but this is not a problem because the tool is going to filter the data, modify it and fix uh, zero, the initial values and so on. So if I go back to my tool, I can browse, go to the folder data and select my text file that contains the data. Once I do that, in a couple of seconds, you will see these values now are populated in these fields. And now you can see the value for the E, so it's already been processed, and the value for the yield stress, uh, the ultimate stress, and the corresponding strains. If you actually go to the plot tab over here, you are going to see a plot of the data that we just imported here for the 
through stress strain data and you will see some points over here indicated the first point that looks like light green color this is the point for the yield stress and the corresponding yield strain and the dark green colored uh, marker represents the stress at 0.2 percent strain offset and the corresponding strain and the blue point uh, clearly indicates the ultimate engineering stress which uh, takes place at the initiation of necking and finally the fracture stress and strain if i click now on generate plastic data because this is what we want we want to process this engineering stress in data to get the true stress strain data and the plastic true stress strain data which we will need to input in abacus so if i click on generate plastic data and browse for the folder where i want to save this process data stress strain data so here i'm going to use the same folder where i had the data that we just imported so i will select this folder and now if i go back to my folder now you are going to see that i have two new files text files has been generated the first one is the material through stress strain and this one has two columns the first column is the strain the second column is the stress so these are the true stress strain values but if i'm dealing with abacus abacus is expecting the true stress strain data but only the plastic data for the plastic strains and it needs to be organized with the stress in the first column and the strain in the second column so this is what you will have here so if i open it i will find this data organized like that so again the first column is the true stress and the second column is the plastic uh, true strain so this data i can just copy directly and paste into abacus when i define the plastic portion of my material now if i go back to my tool if i go back to the plot tab you will actually see now you have a new curve which is after you generated the data so this is the true stress strain curve here in blue again indicating the key uh, points on it as well so now i can try again maybe browsing for a different data maybe the sample coupon data from the stainless steel specimen so let's do that i will select here the stainless steel uh, coupon test data so you will see here that the values have been uh, updated automatically if i go back to my plot tab then i will see the new uh, stress strain data here so again you see the yield stress and the yield stress as 0.2 percent strain offset and again the rest of the points and with the same procedure you can generate the plastic data and so on so of course this is one way to do it the other way if let's say that you don't have this test data so the other way is to manually define the material parameters so if i click on manual so now automatically uh, the there is a list of uh, steel grades already implemented here in the tool so from this drop down menu I can select different grades so here I have European uh, grades so S235, S275 and S355 and also representing the equivalent of these materials uh, in different uh, regions and you have as well uh, the bolts for uh, typical uh, structural high strength bolts like grade 8.8 .8 and grade 10.9 so if i select like s275 automatically you will get some uh, values here so these values are obtained based on uh, a large database uh, that you can read about uh, all about it here if you click on this about button so it will give you the references so there has been a collection of a large database of uh, different types of uh, coupon test data for different materials and the values that you are seeing here this is pretty much the mean values based on this large database so automatically you will get these values initiated you of course you can manually modify one of these values if you want or all the values if you would like uh, you can also instead of using the mean values here based on this database you can click on this checkbox 
to randomize. So if I click on that, every time I click on that, I'm going to get a new set of parameters. And these parameters represent a sampling from a normal distribution based on this uh, collected database for this specific material. So again, I can click on S355, for instance. So then you get this as well. So again, I can randomize these parameters and then I can use these parameters directly in Abacus, like for the modulus of elasticity. Uh, of course, right now there is nothing in the plot. If I click on generate plastic data, once I'm happy with these parameters, so you go ahead and click on generate plastic data. And once again, you are going to get these text files for the true stress strain and the plastic true stress strain, which you can use directly into Abacus. So I will click here on generate plastic data just to show how it look like under the plot tab. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to select the folder here, my main folder to save the data. Let's see now go to the plot tab. So now we can see here in the red, this is the engineering stress strain. Of course, this part here is just in dashed line. This is because we don't have this data uh, defined. So just this is just an illustration, this dashed line. And then the blue line is the true stress strain data. And again, under the data folder, you will find the plastic data that you will need to add into Abacus. So again, you can use this to generate for different types of materials. So again, these are the three main materials shown here. But again, this also works because this database was developed for these three European material grades and their equivalent in other uh, parts of the world. For 8.8 .8 and 8.9, the same for the volts. So you can generate these parameters and automatically and you can randomize them as well. There is this option which will, will not be available for the current release of the tool because this will come uh, later, maybe in two or three months. So this other option for these uh, grades specifically for bolts, you can use to generate the ductile damage parameter for Abacus. And Abacus, when you are defining this, you will need to define the plastic fracture strain versus the triaxiality. And this is pretty much what this part does. So by specifying the mesh size I'm using for my ball, click on generate damage data. So this will automatically generate the relation between the plastic strain at failure or at fracture versus the triaxiality. And also this will be generated as a text file that you can copy and paste into Abacus when you define ductile damage. Uh, this part will be coming soon, but for now, again, hopefully this tool uh, will you find useful just to process existing stress strain data or to manually generate ones for common uh, steel materials. Uh, again, at this point, this is still in the beta version, uh, this tool. So if you encounter any uh, issues uh, with the tool, uh, typically an error file will be generated automatically by the tool if there is any bug. And if this happens, please let us know on through GitHub so that we can address this bug and modify the tool. Thank you. And we hope that you will find this tool useful.